there, my name's Alex, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this 12 row rainbow. Now the things you'll need for this project are yarn in the rainbow colors, a crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a needle. You can also use this tutorial to make a rainbow patch, and I'll put the link in the description to that tutorial. With this project, we're going to work in or hide our yarn tails as we go, which will reduce how much sewing there'll be at the end of the project. Now you'll notice with this rainbow that one side has a zigzag edge on the stripe and the other has a really nice smooth side. It's up to you which one you prefer to show. And just a little reminder that there is a rainbow patch tutorial available. If you want to make a pride patch or a rainbow iron-on patch, there's a separate tutorial for that and I'll leave a link in the description. For this project, I'm going to be using milk cotton yarn and a 3.5 millimeter hook. But really, most yarns will work and it's simply about the colors. So we're going to start with the purple and create a slip knot. Now you don't want to leave the tail too short either when you create your slip knot because we're going to have to sew that in later on. Place the slip knot onto your hook and create 10 chain stitches. If you're new to crochet and you don't know how to create a slip knot or a chain stitch or a single crochet, which are the, all the stitches in, involved in creating this rainbow, I have got tutorials for all of these basic stitches in my channel and I'll leave a link in the description to them. Now we have our row of chain stitches, we can start row one. We're going to single crochet into the second stitch from the hook. So you insert your hook, wrap the yarn over your hook, pull it through, yarn over the hook again and pull it through both loops on your hook and that's a single crochet stitch. Now the pattern is to create three increases here. An increase is simply two single crochet stitches in the one stitch space. So we're putting two single crochets into that stitch space. And we've got another two increases to go. Now we create one single crochet, and that is right at the very top of the inner curve of the rainbow. Now we're going to go backwards from what we had or have already done for this row. So it's three increases. And then we finish off with one single crochet. And that's it for our first row. Now at the end of this first row, you want to chain one stitch and then turn your work to the left. And we're going to work back along this row, just with a single crochet along the entire length of the row, which is 15 stitches. And best to count your stitches, making sure that you don't miss the very first stitch of the row or the very last stitch of the row, because it's fairly easy to do that. If you're enjoying this tutorial so far, please hit that like button and consider subscribing for some more really fun creative craft content. I would love you to join me. A nice easy row for row two. Now every even row of this particular pattern is just going to be a single crochet row, so it's nice and easy. And that completes the end of our purple. Time to trim the tail long enough to be able to uh, work around that over the whole row for the next row. And grab your next colour yarn, which for me it's blue. Put the yarn over your hook and pull it through that last loop that you have of the purple. Chain one in the blue, turn it 
turn your work to the left. Now we're going to work over our yarn tails because we don't want to sew in. We want to make this as easy as possible. So what we're going to be doing is creating our very first single crochet. But put those yarn tails over the top of your hook. Tuck to the back of your work. It's a little bit fiddly for this very first row that you do this. Show you again that first stitch to go into. Creating a single crochet. And just pulling on those tails to make sure that that yarn join is nice and firm. So row three is a single crochet increase three times. So our increase and single crochet. And an increase single crochet and an increase remember an increase is just two single crochet stitches in the same space now we're at the top of that curve it's three single crochet stitches one, two, three. Now back down the other side of the rainbow. Those tails are, are tucked in nice and neatly. An increase. Single crochet. Increase single crochet our last increase and single crochet just to complete the end of row three making sure those tails are tucked in You chain one, turn your work to the left and single crochet several stitches. I just like to do this because it gets that row all neat and tidy and started. Then we can trim our excess tails that we have just worked over. Now you can pull those excess tails just a little bit, just to add a little bit of um, tension to them and give them a trim. And just by working the rainbow a little bit, those tails will go back in under the stitches and you won't see the ends where you've trimmed them. Continue on to row four, which is just single crochet along, 21 stitches. That's looking really good and starting to take shape. Okay, so you want to cut your blue yarn tail again long enough to be able to uh, hide as we work along. Grab your green yarn, placing that over the hook, pulling it through that very last blue stitch. Chain one, turn your work to the left. Now this uh, row for row five, we're going to be creating two single crochets to start off with. Again, we're going to be hiding our tails. Make sure that those two tails are over your hook when you're creating your first stitches. And a single crochet. Just firming those up a little bit. And an increase. Two single crochet stitches and an increase.
add two single crochet stitches and an increase. At the top of the rainbow we're going to create three single crochet stitches. Two and three. The reverse of what we started with, which was increase. Two single crochets. An increase. Two single crochets. And an increase. And three single crochet stitches to finish that row. That will give you 27 stitches. In chain one, turn your work to the left and single crochet several stitches and then we'll trim those excess tails. Now we can trim those tails that we just worked over. Give them a snip, work the rainbow a little bit so that those tails retract back under all the stitches. And continue on with row six, which is single crochet along the entire row, which is for 27 stitches. This is looking seriously good already. Yay! Okay, you want to trim your green yarn, get your yellow, pull it through that very last stitch that you have on your hook, chain one, and turn your work to the left. Now for row seven, we're going to be creating three single crochet stitches to start off with. Again, working around those tails. Three, then an increase. We repeat that pattern six times and then finish off with three single crochet stitches. That will give you a total of 33 stitches for row seven. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I invite you to come and check out my videos and some of the playlists that I have there with easy to follow crochet tutorials, free patterns, and a whole lot of really fun projects. At the end of row seven, chain one, turn your work and crochet several stitches. Now remember, we're working on row eight now, so that will be single crochet all the way along. So every even row is just single crochet. We can pull on those tails lightly that we've just worked over, trim them, and continue on with row eight, which is single crochet along the entire row. That's giving you 33 stitches.
At the end of row eight, you can trim your yellow yarn tail. Again, long enough to be able to work over. Grab your orange yarn, placing that over your hook, pulling it through the very last yellow loop that you have on your hook, chain one, and turn your work to the left. Again, working over those tails for row nine, we'll be creating four single crochet stitches. Then an increase. We're repeating that three times. So this is our second group of four single crochet stitches and an increase. And at the top of the rainbow, you're going to create three single crochet stitches. Then work in reverse order, increase, four single crochet, increase, four single crochet, increase, and four single crochet stitches, which will give you a total of 39 stitches for row nine. At the end of the row, you chain one, turn your work to the left, and crochet several stitches. Now we can trim those yarn tails, just giving a little bit of tension there. Trim them. And continue on with row 10, which is single crochet along the entire row, which will give you 39 stitches. And only two rows to go now on our 12 row project. You can trim your orange yarn. Grab your red yarn, pop it over the hook, pull it through that very last loop on your hook. Chain one, turn your work to the left. Now this will be our very last row of increases. So we start with four single crochet stitches. Then we're going to repeat the increase and five single crochet stitches. We're repeating that five times. That's an increase and then five single crochets. Now remember we're doing five lots of that series. Then we'll increase and finish off with four single crochet stitches. And this will give you a total of 45 stitches for row 11. And just completing row 11, you can see how the increases causes a, a sort of a flat edge to that curve of the rainbow. 
And this is something I didn't like with a lot of the other rainbow patterns that I found. So I've created this one. It, it finishes on a single crochet row, which softens the whole curve. And I think makes it look a lot more um, finished and much more like a rainbow. So chain one, turn your work to the left, single crochet several stitches, and then we'll trim those tails that we, we've been working over. And now you can trim those tails, just adding a little bit of tension there so that they will slip back under the stitches that we've worked over. And continue along with row 12, which is just single crochet, 45 stitches. And when you get to the end of row 12, you can trim your yarn tail, chain one, but pull your yarn all the way through that loop. And now it's time to sew in our tails. So thread each of the tails onto a needle and select which side that you prefer to show of your rainbow. I'm liking the uh, smooth striped side, so I'm going to just use the reverse side, the zigzag side, to hide my tails. Now, in theory, you won't really see it from the zigzag side either, but just in case uh, you do, I'm going to just thread it through on that side. So take it around to the entire curve and trim off any excess Doing the same with the red, just hiding that into the stitches and trimming off the excess. Woohoo! That looks fantastic! I hope you're happy with your rainbow project. Please check out my other Pride and Rainbow videos, plus there is a playlist on my channel too. much for watching please show your support by hitting that like button and consider subscribing to my channel for instant access to fun and creative project tutorials I'd love you to join me thanks again be safe be positive and as always stay awesome